So, what happens when we are endangered? What happens? Uh, what we do is we call 911. We are trying to uh, get a person who to speak to. It takes everything time, valuable time, where we could save it. Uh, that's why we developed the SOS application, which uh, enhances the city and which we act actually white labeled for the energy suppliers in Azerbaijan. So, in case if there is no electricity, people just can. Uh, open the application, register with their, perfect, with their uh, sub subscriber code and it will be already allocated where they are and how actually uh, the endangerment is and where is the actually um, the technicians, how far they are and that's uh, everything is so much um, eased that there is only one person needed at the admin panel which will just uh, allocate the places where the accidents happen so this is actually the application which is white labeled for the energy suppliers this is the application which works already and as you can see there are a lot of options which you can actually see as an endangerment you can record a voice message you can uh, make a video t take a photo and send it directly with a note that you need help the information sent then uh, gets onto the admin panel uh, with a ticket code and with the uh, direct location where it's happened. You don't actually have to give the location as this system is already integrated with a GIS map with the subscriber code. Everything is in one system and as you can see the admin uh, can select the location where it's happening, uh, then select the team and confirm the details and send it to the uh, next stage. And as you can see, this is the application for the people who are in the car uh, looking for the, the endangerments. They get the information, the ticket number, and what happens, and then they can actually get, uh, have to confirm it five times until they have arrived. They have to write a report, and at the end of the day, everything is handled much faster than usual. Exactly. Thank you for your attention. It was a, a short presentation on how the applications can enhance the smart cities. And please, Dimitri, <laughs> I think you have enough questions now.